In Littleton today, they are reflecting on lives ended and lives forever changed. In the parking lot at Columbine High, the car Rachel Scott drove to school Tuesday morning has become a shrine to her memory. She was 17 and dreamed of being an actress. In a family of five children, Rachel was the spark plug, says her father, Daryl. You know, there's a gap that's never going to be filled. She just, she was the bubbly part of, of my family. He didn't make his bed before he went to school. <laughs> <laughs> in the bedroom of his slain son Isaiah, Michael Scholes remembers an 18-year-old looking to the future. His high school graduation was just two weeks away, but now his young life is frozen in high school souvenirs. There was so much potential. Oh yes, a whole lot. I mean, I know he would have been one of the best. I could never be what my son could have been. The Columbine girls basketball team remembers coach and teacher Dave Sanders as a hero. As he helped a crowd of students escape the shooters, he became a target. He had been shot like twice, like just blood everywhere. Cammie Held was in the classroom where Sanders lay wounded for three hours. Just started saying, I can't breathe. Let me go, let me go, I can't make it. Teacher Teresa Miller says two students knelt beside Dave Sanders to give him comfort as he was dying. They took his wallet in which he carries hundreds of pictures of his kids and um, showed him the photographs and would ask Dave to tell, you know, tell me about who's this beautiful girl. Connie Sanders is one of his daughters. It's something that has got to make us feel at least a little better that he didn't die in vain, that he tried trying, he was saving other people's children. His, you know, last words were, I'm not going to make it instead of, you know, feeling sorry for himself or anything <laughs> like that. He, he said, tell my girls I love them. Through all the pain here, there are many memories of love to provide some comfort. John Blackstone, CBS News, Littleton, Colorado.